Rich Tech is pleased to now offer a complete line of crack injection resins for wall crack repair. Our resins both permanently and immediately stop actively leaking cracks, as well as prevent future cracks from forming. Available in formulations for cracks ranging from hairline to 5 16 of an inch and wider, Rich Tech injection resins are solvent-free, non-corrosive, and will flex along with the crack during thermal shifting. This video will give a brief overview of how to use Rich Tech injection resins. First, clean any dirt or loose concrete out of the crack and make sure the area is dry. Next, identify and mark your injection port placement. The first injection port should be at or near floor level, with each additional port evenly spaced every 8 to 10 inches up and along the crack. You want to make sure you're not repairing a surface crack, so you'll need to access the actual crack before you can effectively repair it. Use a chisel to cut away the loose cement around the surface, making a trough or channel that leads to and exposes the inner wall of the crack. Once the true crack has been exposed, use a razor blade to clean away any loose concrete and debris before continuing. Think of it as a dentist drilling the decay out of a tooth before filling it. If a dentist fills and seals a tooth with decay underneath it, he hasn't done the job correctly and will ultimately need to redo it. Next, using a hammer drill with a half inch bit, drill into each marked injection port location. After cleaning out any loose concrete from each hole, insert the drill ports. The drill ports have a flanged end that will grab onto the concrete, keeping it secured from the pressure caused from the injection. Using a hammer and chisel, place the drill port into the pre-drilled hole, and with the chisel on the flange, hammer the port into position. Now, use either Rich Tech Crack Adhesive Parts A and B, or hydraulic cement to seal off the front of the crack. This will help secure the injection ports and create a clear wet path that the injection resin will occupy. Once the front of the crack is sealed and the crack adhesive or hydraulic cement is cured, test the flow of water by injecting water into the top ports, making sure it drains from the bottom ports. If there is any water leakage along the crack, stop and reseal those areas before continuing. After the front of the crack is completely sealed, it's time to inject the resin. Start at the bottom port and as you slowly inject the resin, it should come out of the port immediately above. When that occurs, release pressure from the gun, cap off the bottom port, and move to the next port up. If any leakage occurs from the front of the crack, stop injecting and reseal with crack adhesive or hydraulic cement. Once you have worked your way to the top of the crack, cap the last injection port and let the resin cure for 24 hours. After the resin has cured, you may remove the injection ports and crack adhesive if you wish. Contact Rich Tech Industries today for more information or to place an order for crack injection resins.